right, by other people's standards to have a radio show. But I got my own show with my own name on it. And I'm telling you right now, listen, who would have ever thought this could ever be? But I was telling my guest Aaliyah, I guess my friend, I was telling her, I said, listen, when I came into this studio to be interviewed, I, I, I felt something like I was going to walk out having my own show. And I walked out having my own show. I'm just telling you, it doesn't matter what people have said to you. doesn't matter what people have done to you. Because all of us have an experience. All of us have it that we've come from. But I'm telling you right now, it's about starting today. Somebody, listen, the reason why you have is because you have to make up in your mind that you're going to start this today. Listen, if you want to advertise on our show, email me, IamInspiredTroy at gmail.com. I'm telling you right now, so much is, is about to take place in our life and in your life. But it's about purpose. Listen, purpose with a mission. I'm on a mission, y'all. I'm on a mission with this show and everything that I do with our nonprofit, Call to Inspire Incorporated, to encourage, to take everybody with me. Listen, I got more dreams, y'all. And I know you do too. Listen, it's not about, I've reached, there are more places in store for your life. And I said to you, if you want to get through the door, knock on the door. You got to go get this because it's not going to fall out the sky. It's not going to just, it, it's something that you have to do. You have to determine in your mind that I'm going to be something greater because I know greater is in me. Listen, a few things I got to share with you. Last week, oh, my goodness, I went to a play that my friend of mine, Cicely Martin Breeding, had phenomenal. She never told. Follow her, Leap in High Production. That's Leap with the N, High Production. I'm telling you right now, phenomenal. It was a wonderful show. And I want to wish happy Father's Day to all the fathers as well. Hope you enjoyed your day. But listen, I did a, a, a senior prom as well. Shot a senior prom on Friday. Phenomenal day. Uh, thank you, uh, Janae, and, and to her parents for allowing us to capture your wonderful day. And I, I'm honored to be a part of it. Listen, y'all. Y'all know what we do. Point to purpose. Point to purpose right here. We're inspiration with Troy Alexander. I got a few that I got to share with you before I bring our guests on. Listen, I believe that the caterpillar knows what it shall become. You have to know there is greater in you. Listen, I believe that the caterpillar knows that when it's born, that it's destined for something greater. And I'm telling you right now, my friend, my guest, Aaliyah, she is destined for something greater. It's in her. Listen, and let me tell you this. Sometimes there's things that people saw in me that I didn't see in myself at the moment. But, until, but when I saw, when I began to see something greater, I'm telling you right now, it was a wonderful experience because, because it didn't matter what, what, what I was dealing with. I knew something greater was coming out. I knew something greater was going to take place in my life. Listen, I got dreams that, listen, I'm going to be a billionaire. I'm going to have these buildings. I'm going to have a studio. I'm, going to have, I'm telling you right now. Aaliyah, I told them I'm going to have a talk show. I did. I did. Listen, I, I told, listen, if Oprah can have one, if, if, if Phil Dollar, who can have one, why not me? Why not you? Why, why can't you have what it is that you desire to have? I'm telling you, there is so much that we're getting ready for. And I need you to know that there is more in store for your life. So listen, I'm excited, y'all. I got one more point of purpose that I got to share with you because this is so important. And things that I had to deal with in the last week, matter of fact, in the last two weeks. But listen, even the computer needs to reboot. Yes, it's okay. Listen, you might have to gather yourself. I was dealing with something a couple of weeks ago, and I was like, is this really aligned with what I've been called to do? And, and, and I started down the path. Listen. I have flyers out there, Leah. I, I have I had advertisements. I had every, I had a whole bunch of contacts. But I realized that it really was not what was aligned with what I was called to do. I said, you know what? I'm gonna put that on hold. I might go back to it, but right now it's not the time for me to 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 take that step. So I'm telling you right now, I'm excited and we're gonna get ready in just a few moments to have our wonderful guests on the show. And listen, y'all, there's more in store for your life. I, I was sitting in, I, I was driving to the show tonight, and I feel this so real in, in my spirit. I feel that there's something greater uh, uh, that, that, that I'm called to do. I'm getting ready, y'all. I, I, I got to say this. We launched this morning our Dreamers Supporting Dreamers directory. I'm going to say it again. We launched our Dreamers Supporting Dreamers directory this morning on Facebook. 
I am doing a directory of as many people that I know with talents and skills and ability, and we're going to put this directory together. We already put it out there of what I, you know, began with to let us know. Listen, we want to support each other. If you got a cake business, if you got a, 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 a dance group, listen, give us all the information. We'll put it on the directory, and every week we're going to update it, share it with the world so that we can support each other doing what it is we've been called to do. Dreamers, supporting Dreamers directory, it launched today. It's going to come out at least once a week, might be every Monday. But I'm telling you right now, and guess what, Aaliyah, I'm so excited. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have you get ready and come on the set. But while she's coming on here, y'all, listen, I got another initiative that we're getting ready to do. And, 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 and this initiative is, <laughs> this initiative is, co is called the Dreamers Club. And this Dreamer Club is, is, is going to support everybody that's a part of it. We're going to help their dreams come, come true. Isn't that right, Aaliyah? <laughs> listen, y'all, because listen, Aaliyah's going to be a part of our show, a, a, a part of our club. But I'm telling you, all, we need each other, right? Listen, listen, I can't, I didn't get to this place by myself, Aaliyah. And I know every place that everybody got to, they didn't get to either by themselves, did they? That's right. So listen, y'all. Listen, I got to introduce this amazing young lady. She is Aaliyah Fischera. I got, I got it right, y'all. Listen, she, she is an amazing young lady, um, and, and, and I want to talk to her a little bit about her journey and, and, and your story. And listen, she's an amazing model, an amazing person. Um, her heart, she gives herself to community service. She gives her heart to so many other things that she does. She's an athlete. She's so much involved. So we got our producer extraordinaire that, that <laughs> came in, Ruben. Thank you, Ruben, for all your help and support. <laughs> listen, Hamilton Radio is where it's at, I'm telling you. Make sure you contact Ruben. But listen, y'all. Um, oh, Ruben, um, I'm, they, they, they tell me that they can't hear me, so just make sure that I, I'm not sure. Just double check. You good? Yeah. All right. Ruben said we're good, so let me know if we're good, everybody. So listen, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about everything. That's, listen, Aaliyah. Tell me about, listen, you, you're doing so many things. I am. I'm you, involved you, in a lot. A, a lot of <laughs> stuff. You're doing modeling, community service, your internship in the medical field. Yes. I want to talk about being involved in, in, in STEM. STEAM. STEAM. We, we added the arts. Yeah. Go ahead. So it's like science, technology, engineering, math, but we added the arts. So that's where I, the A comes in. I love that. <laughs> I Because cause, cause I've always heard of STEM. Yes. That's why everybody's like, STEM? STEM? Right, what right, is right, it? Right, right, right. So, so it's STEAM now. Yes. And you added just the in my school, though. Oh, because that's in your school? Yeah. Awesome. Now, tell us, how, how old are you? I am now 15, but next month I'll be 16. And, 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 and you're in grade? I mean, the 10th grade. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let's go back. Tell me about this STEAM. So, so this team, how did you get involved with that? So in eighth grade, a lot of their, like, head coordinators, they were just beginning it that year. So they came into my school to explain to, like, the students what it was and how they were going to start it. But they didn't start it yet. Okay. So I was like, hmm, is that something I want to be, like, the guinea pig of? Do I right. want to try right, it? Right, 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 right. And I was talking about it with one of my friends because we're both, like, on the same level. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So she was like, we should just try it. So I was like, all right, let's try it. And then it turned into switching schools. So I'm originally oh, wow. from Intermediate North, and I had to go to high school East. So I was like, all right, it's going to be a rough transition because, right. like, everybody already has their group of friends when right, you get to high school right. and stuff. So we thought about it for a little bit, and we're like, let's just do it. Wow. So wait, 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 wait. So, so you picked up and left one school. I went to another. So went to another school. Yes. So now did, did you have friends at that school too? Not really. Wow. What was that? So how long did that decision, like, like was it like a day conversation? Was it a couple of weeks? Well, I'm kind of a spur-of-the-moment person. Okay. So we were listening to the ladies talk, and we looked at each other, and we were like, yeah, let's just try it out. <laughs> wow, that is phenomenal. So, so, you, so you decided to, to leave one school to go to another school to try this project out. Dreams. Not, not, not really knowing everything, like, like the fully. Wow, that's awesome. So now tell me about this project. What is this project all about? It's for the students who want to be involved with, obviously, science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. But I'm in the biomedical portion of it, so I'm going to go into the medical field. That's what I plan on doing. Wow. So you had to take a test, to, like, depending on which section you were going into. Right, right. And they separated us as soon as we got our so, first day. <laughs> so, so you're like this, like this PhD level kind of, kind of. <laughs> listen, listen, biology was not my thing. So, so... Is that part of it too? 
the the like like chemistry and yeah it's all like just advanced classes we have to take so like i had to take like the summer from eighth grade to freshman year i had to take a whole bunch of online classes like to get grades ahead how was was rough it was rough it was really rough oh my it's hard to teach yourself things right 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 i'm I'm more of a visual learner i need people showing me Me step by step or hands-on yeah yeah listen listen i didn't the way i learned how to play tennis (laughs) <laughs> was was visual. No, yes. no, it was. It, it was like I would watch. The, I believe it. Right. So I would watch them do the top spin, mm-hmm. on, and and then I would go out and just do the motion, and that's how I learned how to play tennis. I mean, well, well my dad had a little bit to do with a little bit, a <laughs> little bit, but little mostly there. I'm telling you. But yeah, so so biology, chemistry, like you like that, those classes? That's yeah, that's all part of it. And wow. I want to be a psychiatrist, so going into that field, you have to have a background. I love, <laughs> I love that. So. Why psychology? Why why do you want to be a psychologist? Psychiatrist. Psychiatrist. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, listen, she corrected me. I'm glad you did. Psychiatrist. Two different things. I had a... No, no. I, listen, I love it. Give me five. Listen, I love it. Because, see, listen, if somebody doesn't get it right, make sure that they get it right. That, that's all. That's all. So, psychiatrist. Well, why because I like working with people. I'm a people person. Yes, yes, you are. And I feel like just helping people and... I don't know. I was kind of researching a bunch of topics because every young child, I'm in high school, I'm right, thinking, right, what do I right. want to do? I don't right. know what I want to do. I'm like, I know I want to be in the medical field, but what do I want to do? Right. No, no, and every, that's something everybody thinks about. Absolutely. And so I was just researching a couple of things, looking into different careers, and I was I like, it. it seems like I want what I want to do. I love it. <laughs> one, one thing that I love about you, Leah, is the fact that it seems that you're not afraid. No, I'm to, not. To, to, <laughs> no, I see, yeah, anything. <laughs> yeah, see, see, you're not afraid to take that leap. No. You're not afraid. And that is so, such a valuable, wow, skill set or emotion or feeling to have is, is to not be afraid. So, like, are you afraid to do any, like, is there anything that you're, like, afraid of? Ah, <laughs> bugs. Bugs, yeah. Well, listen, I'm going to raise my hands. we all there. I don't like bugs. But, but there are people that do like, so, so you have the courage to say, you know what, I'm going to leave one school, go to another school, take this 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 program and then you're going to become a psychiatrist yes <laughs> dr Aaliyah. <laughs> yes and 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 so you want to open up like your own practice or do you want to work eventually in like, like a hospital maybe that first and yeah. then grow to my own practice i love it i love it listen y'all uh, you better sign up now because it's, it's gonna be a long line to get into her her practice my office <laughs> <laughs> I'm t- now are you looking to stay have you given thought that you, that do you want to stay in jersey that's kind of my thought process right now i'm not sure got it got first it. is the career now i'm working on that <laughs> <laughs> so that it listen we're, we're so proud of listen we're so proud to have a leader with us tonight i'm honored because it's been a little while we've been trying to kind of work some things out yeah. with the schedule because you're, you're an athlete you're a model. You're just a wonderful person. You're doing involved with so many things. Now, you give up yourself. Now, I understand, as per your bio, you're going to be doing internship at the medical center? Yes. Community medical center. Community medical center. And so that's going to be on this summer? Yes. Awesome. Now, Starts this summer. And how long is that? Like for, is that like four weeks, eight weeks, six weeks? It's really till whenever I decide to stop and decide I'm going to college and all that. Wow. So I could just keep it going. Every summer? Or, or, or. It starts this summer throughout the school year and everything. Really? Yes. Wow, that's <laughs> phenomenal. That, I know, so, I'm excited. Now, now, is this paid, paid or unpaid? Unpaid. Unpaid. Okay. Well, you know, you never know. <laughs> there are some paid internships. So, so you're able to just do this internship as long as you want to. Yes. That is awesome. Have you ever met a um, a, a psychiatrist? No, actually. Wow. <laughs> well, we've got to make that happen. Got, well, we do. I, I'm sure we you know find one. Yes. yes. I'm sure yes. I'll find one in there. <laughs> I know some too. So, But yeah, Perfect. that's phenomenal. Phenomenal. So I, I, I love the fact that you're willing to, and medical, that is, that, that's big time. Yeah. I mean, that's like, you know, I'm like. That's some, a lot of people are like, are you sure you want to do that? Like, there's a lot of people, like. Yeah. Some people go into it, and I'm like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> listen, whatever Aaliyah sets her mind to do, listen, this show is about encouraging every – listen, she's 15, <laughs> about to turn 16, and going into the medical field. Listen, summer internship at the Community Medical Center. Shout out to them. Listen, get ready, y'all, because she's amazing. She's going to come and be a, a blessing and support to your organization. Now, do you want to, like, maybe possibly work there a little longer, like, like in terms of maybe – well, the problem is, for me, I'm too young. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow, yeah. I'm not, like, 
I'm too yeah. young to technically even have a real job. That's Gotta be 16. Yeah. Can't even get working papers. <laughs> well, that's coming up in a month. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm almost there. <laughs> she's almost there, y'all. She's almost 16. It's, it, listen, I'm telling you right now, what, what's amazing about this young lady, and, and I want to encourage everybody that's watching and that's, that's, that's on the phone, it is about not allowing your fear to hold you back, you know? And so many of us have allowed fear to hold us back. Um, can you talk about that? Like, 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 what does it feel like to be able to just do it? Because, because so many want to be like that but just aren't there. You just got to follow your mind, really. Wow. Just That's it. Do it That's right? it. You just got to do it. Hey, you listen. can't think about it too much because yeah. there's certain things I'll even want to do, and then I'm thinking about it, I'm like, well, this could happen. Yeah. Well, that could go wrong. Exactly. Well, what's going to happen if this happens? Right. And I'm like, who cares? We'll just try it. And if something happens, I don't got to do it. Right. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. You can't make this amazing because that is so powerful because what you just said, Aaliyah, has helped so many. Because you can't think too much about it. That's I'm the right? worst with that. I always you know? overthink things, then I'm like, I'm just going to do it. Right, right. I mean, listen, it, it's, it's amazing that, that so many of us, e even adults, like, we're like, well, that can happen. Well, well, you know what? Anything can happen anytime, right? And everyone thinks that. You're not yes, the only one that thinks you're that. You're not the only one. <laughs> but, but, but it's amazing that, that you, at your age, have, have reached a point where you're like, I'm just going to do it. Just going to try it. Just going to do it. Listen, there are some things that Aaliyah and I are going to work on together. <laughs> and listen, she's just doing it. I'm telling you. Just Nike, get ready. Or whoever it is, <laughs> just, just do, do it. it. Listen, <laughs> phenomenal. I got to ask you because you, you've done so much in your, in your short life that yeah. you had. It seemed like it's so much. 15 years. Yes, 15 years. Um, I got to ask you, even, even about your modeling, because um, where did you first start? Like, like, like I started... 2016. Okay. Well, I was what, 12, 13, somewhere around wow. there. Wow. Wow. And my first show was the Jersey Shore Fashion Show, Jersey Shore premiere. Yes. Dude. And I've been going back every year since, just because I started there. I feel like I have to keep doing it. <laughs> so will you be there this Wednesday? No. Oh! <laughs> I broke the street. <laughs> and, and, and listen, listen. What? And, and I'm gonna be there. Why did you break the string <laughs> when I'm gonna be there? Because getting more involved, there's yes. different castings on every single day. And then right, I'm thinking, right. what casting do I go to? Which one do I do? Right. So it comes oh. down to just trying new things. Okay, okay. Well, you may just have to come and hang out with me then. Of course. All right. So watch. listen, you're going to come hang with me. <laughs> so yes, I I'll be at Jersey Shore this Wednesday night. So that's awesome. So at 12, now, is, is this what you wanted to do? Like, like, did you have an interest in modeling? Or did someone say to you, this is my, something you might want to do? Like, how did you get involved? Well, one of my friend's mothers, Alyssa, you know Alyssa. Yeah. And <laughs> we were talking about it for a while, and she awesome. was like, I think you should try it. And I was like, let's try it. <laughs> awesome. So awesome. I got into the Jersey Shore. Yes. And that's where it all started. Wow. Wow. And so, from so there, she has her Shop Sell Strut, yes. an amazing event. Love it. Love and it. that was the next step. And then we kept growing from there. Awesome, awesome. I have to, because, cause, yes, I love Dawn. Dawn is amazing. Yeah, and, she is. And Alyssa is just awesome. We love them. Um, they, they are like family, you know, to me. So, but, yeah, but it's so, so, so Jersey Shore, that was, what was that experience the first time? I was nervous, beyond nervous. And then it's, I don't know how my nerves get to me because I feel like I'm not nervous. And then I'm like, okay, I'm shaking. Like, why am I shaking? Right, 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 right. <laughs> and then once you get up there, you realize, like, every, the, all the attention is on you. And it seems like I'd be so nervous, but you're not. You right. feel like you have power when you're just walking. Everyone's looking at you and the music's playing. Yes. You just got to think, it's just, just happening. Just let it happen. <laughs> let me just say this, y'all. Every place that I've been where Aaliyah has been in the show, somebody has said to her <laughs> or said to me or said to her or to her mom, that there's something special about you. Thank you. You do. I don't know what it is when you get on the runway, but I, I, it's like your Superwoman between Storm <laughs> on, on the X-Men movie, between all the characters, and you just, you just slay it. I mean, you kill it or whatever they call it. I'm not sure what they say, but, whatever. <laughs> but, but, but you get it. Thank you. I love that, and, and it's so amazing because your confidence is so, you see it in your face, you see it in your walk, you see it in your presence. Do you feel that as you're walking? You just have to show confidence you just have to we were talking about this before the show you yes. just got to be confident be yes. confident in yourself well it seems to me like you become more confident as as because all the yes. tensions on me I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yes i'm telling you and i'm telling you, when you see your photos they 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 are amazing thank you and, that's because you take them well, <laughs> <laughs> but but it's amazing that you're just awesome and this is your first your first interview right yes, your first interview listen 
I, I, I had the pleasure of interviewing Aaliyah for the first time on radio, Facebook Live, I'm telling you, and, and there is no limit to your future. So, psychiatrist, doctor, Dr. Leah. Dr. Um, Leah. <laughs> um, I can see you on magazine covers. I hope I see so. you on billboards. Like, do you see yourself there? I do. That's how you have to see it in order to want it. Uh, give, me, <laughs> give me two to five on that one. You have to see it to want it. You do. And do you see it? I do. That's why I'm trying to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, y'all, you have to see this. We have an I am declaration on our show, as you talked about before the show, and, and it's, a, it's, it's the power of opening your mouth and speaking out whatever it is that you're declaring. And I'm telling you, I, I see, I am going to see Aaliyah on a billboard in New York City. Thank you. I'm going to see Aaliyah in the magazine covers across when I walk into the Walgreens. Right? I was just, yeah, I was yeah, just yeah. thinking that, yeah. flipping through the pages. That's right, that's right, 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 that's right. Walgreens, <laughs> CVS, Barnes & Noble. Listen, it, it is about a declaration. It is. It is about a declaration. I never, I never thought that, that, that the photos that I take would actually be in a magazine. But, but now I can take the proof through SM Global, you know, and thank you, Samina Mugai, I appreciate you. But through that experience with SM Global Catwalk, I was able to have my photos in an actual magazine. Because and you believed you could do it. Well, you, you did it. You know, <laughs> it was just, but you have to believe. Yes. You have to believe. And listen, if you don't believe, then you might as well not even don't like, try. really try because you're not going to get far. you got to have you some know? sense of faith or hope that you can do it. Yes. I tell you, listen. If you don't think that you can uh, uh, compete against the other, then why get on the court? Why get on the court? Now, listen, you do a – now, now you play a sport. I do. Lacrosse. I lacrosse. <laughs> How – because that to me seems so rough. Like like it's very <laughs> – Aggressive a little bit. <laughs> yes. I well, mean, so, guys is different than girls. The guys lacrosse is a lot okay. more aggressive. Okay, okay. Girls are a little aggressive. You get a little banged up. Yeah. <laughs> and do you wear a mask? Yes, a mask and a mouth guard. And so, like, you've been hit, like, a lot? I mean. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm only a sophomore. Okay, so, okay. And I couldn't play my freshman year. Okay. So, high school lacrosse is more intense than, like, I played for my town. So, it was, like, a bunch of little kids running around with oh, sticks. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but it's still rough. Yeah, <laughs> you still, still got a stick in your hand. <laughs> and it's a lot of running. It is. Listen, I applaud any person, <laughs> man or woman, that can play lacrosse, Soccer, uh, anything where you gotta like all you do is run. Yes, I mean running's but, a big part of it. <laughs> yes. So like, how was that training? Like, like, tell me about that training process because I can only imagine. Like, please, like, like, how how did you even begin that? Well, I work out a lot. I do work out a lot. Oh, okay. So okay. I do CrossFit. And that so is. It's just like intense training. Like, okay, like at a gym or at home or. It's at a gym. Uh, okay, okay. There's like an instructor and it's like classes. And how often do you go? Every day. Every day? Sometimes take off the weekends. Wow, Leah. <laughs> so every day you're in this, this fit, what's it called? CrossFit. CrossFit. Yes. So, so, so you're in a class? Yes. How long is the class? An hour. Every day? Yes. There's a bunch of I need some help. grown I need you to men train and you see me I need in you there train. doing my pull-ups. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to train me because I'm like, <laughs> every day you're in an hour. This And, and, and how long have you been doing that? Well... I just started in the beginning of this year, but I always okay. went to the gym and always worked out okay. or always went on runs and okay. all that stuff. Right, but right, right, right. I just started CrossFit. Phenomenal. I and, love it. And, and so do you have to, do you enjoy working out? I do. Makes oh, me feel wow. good. Listen, y'all, she didn't hesitate. She's like, I do, I do. I love it. Wow. But that, and that, that's a, because, because you get out of it what you put into it. Yes. And, and so you're putting in a whole hour of fitness every day. Yes. That's amazing. That's <laughs> amazing. And so that, that helped to prepare you for the cross. Yes. Because in tryouts, whew, what? What they, they run the hardest, you down. Hard and yeah, hard? Yes, very hard. So, so It's like more a, conditioning than stick work. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. So they okay. beat you up before you, you're able to make the team. Really? <laughs> yes. Wow, so, so, so you must have a lot of endurance. Yes and no. Okay. I'm an offensive player, so that's like half, Meaning, the, half the field. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, so, you're, so you're the one that they pass the – is it called the ball? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, pass, I didn't know what you it pass the ball. Okay, so so you're the one that they pass the ball to get into the 
to the goal. Goal. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know y'all that. Listen, I know what hockey Learning is. Learning the sport. You know, it's a puck, and, and yeah. I know it's getting to the goal. So I want to make sure I got the right terminology. So so you're the one that does the, the scoring. Yes. Okay. That's so you, so, so you must have good accuracy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, after doing it for a while. Awesome, awesome. And and so and so, tell me again. So in your preparation, you have to. Was there something that you know now that you could have done sooner that you feel would have prepared you more? So for lacrosse or or just sports in general. I feel like it's more. Don't think about it because I was wow. thinking about it for weeks before, and I was I like, oh that. my god, I'm not gonna make the team all negativity. Yes. And I was like, I've been doing this forever. Let me just go. So I just went, and I was fine. Listen, I actually I'm, got my varsity letter. This you did? Uh, yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> oh my goodness. And and you're in tenth grade. Yes. And you and you got your varsity letter. Yes. Phenomenal. Congratulations. <laughs> that is I'm telling you. I l- listen, I just don't like running a lot. I, I now That's not I, my favorite part. <laughs> listen, I play football, I play baseball, I did some basketball too. So now now do you play any other sports? No. Just lacrosse. Yeah. Now how did you get involved with that? Like, like was in that lacrosse? Just, yeah. Well, my brother played in high school, okay. and I was like, "Hey, mom, I want to try that." I was young when my brother was in high school. He's like 22 now, so okay. Okay. it was a while ago. Wow. And I was like, "Hey, mom, can I try that?" <laughs> wow. So we searched it good? up. Yes, but he's a wrestler, so he had to pick and choose, and he chose wrestling. Oh, <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, shout out to your brother. <laughs> shout out to your brother. That's that, that's phenomenal. So listen, y'all, listen, if you want to call into the show, you're on Hamilton Radio with Troy Alexander, uh, 609-807-2492, 609-807-2492. We are here every Monday night on Hamilton Radio from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. I'm so grateful to have Aaliyah. Listen, we did a photo shoot uh, with Aaliyah not too long ago, which was amazing. Uh, that was our first one, right? Was I think it? Our first, like, photo shoot. shoot. Like official so. photo shoot. Yeah, yeah. Like We've been together at so many events. It doesn't feel like it's the first. That's but, true. But it is. That's true. Yeah, I think it was, right? Yeah. And so we're getting ready to do our second one. We are. Yeah. Soon. 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 <laughs> soon. Listen, I'm telling you. And, and I told Aaliyah, I want her to be a part of our Dreamers Club. Because our, 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 our Dreamers Club, listen, shout out to my cousin Kina and my cousin Noel. We had this, dream, this, this a mentoring program for two years. And all we did was work with young people to support their dreams. Like, like we actually helped them to walk into whatever area of their destiny they were aligned to be in. And so, listen, you never know unless you try, right? Because, you know, how do you know unless you try? That's what the youth needs. Yes, yes. That's why I got to bring you on so you can talk to them. <laughs> I'm telling you. Well, tell them that's what they need. Because <laughs> you just do it. You do. You just step out into it. Now, 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 have you ever stepped into something and said you're just going to do it and kind of wish you hadn't. Definitely. Uh, I'm trying to think of an some... example. There's a lot. There's a lot. I try a lot of things. Okay. Awesome. Dance. I, I did dance. Tried it. Okay. Not too great at it. Really? I'm gonna end that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Now, what type of dance were you trying to do? Like, like, was it? Oh, dance? all types. I just went right in. Really? Yes. And, and and so what is it? So 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 what was the problem there? Like with, with the dance? I'm, just, I'm, just I'm not quite the it. dancer. <laughs> <laughs> so, so was it like the beat? Was it like the feet work? The I'm, I'm not like a, I'm a stiff person. <laughs> okay. That was the problem. Oh, okay, okay. So it was the flexibility, like, like with the moves and kind yeah. of yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, listen. Yeah, dancing is not my thing too. Yeah, I, it's I not my thing. <laughs> I, I love to sing, but, but dancing is not. Yeah, I don't, I don't try to. No, nope. it's not so, for me. No, you won't see me on Dancing with the Stars at all. <laughs> not one day soon. So, don't even try. I'm with so, you. so now I understand. I'm not going to ask you, but I said that, that you enjoy singing. I do enjoy singing. <laughs> now, do you just sing to yourself at home, at family gatherings, well, events, or? I sang at Joy Star. And what's Joy Star? It's like just like a program, it's okay. Like a place you go to sing. Okay. And then, really? Yes. Okay. Is that in Jersey? Yes. Okay. okay. It's in my town. And okay. then, so there we'd perform like little concerts and stuff. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> see y'all. See, see. This is a shock to me, right? Because before the show, I'm talking to her about about uh, singing. She's like, "Well, don't ask me to sing. I don't." Do. I'm like, "You were you were on a stage." I was in your town. Amongst people that you knew, I sure was. <laughs> and 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 you were part of a group, or, well, or just we did like solos. So so <laughs> you did solos in front of on a stage at a place called Joy Joy Star Joy Star. Yes. 
And you're telling me now that you're not Yes. Gonna see <laughs> 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 Well listen, listen. Okay, so so tell me about that experience. So what was that like? Well, I was young in the beginning, so I was like, my mom was uh, like, uh, 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 I'm sorry, y'all. She she's 15. I'm old about now. <laughs> when I was young, about uh, five childhood. years ago. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I'd always sing around the house, and my mom was like, "You're kind of good." And I was like, "Really?" And I, she was like, "You want to get into it? Like, is it something you actually want to do?" And I was a little kid. I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah I want to try it." Wow. So I remember going to my first lesson, and my teacher was sitting on a little chair. And I was standing up, and the computer screen was right in front of me with all the lyrics on it. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm really about to sing. And she was waiting for me to sing. I was like, oh, my God, oh, my God, so nervous. And I just did it. And then it was fine. And do you and do you remember the song? It was from Adele. I think it was Someone Like You. I'm almost positive. Listen. It was Adele, 100%. I'm going to have to. Ruben, I might have to get you to put the words on the screen, Ruben, because <laughs> we might need a leader to sing Adele, whatever that, that the song you mentioned like is. You. Um, so, so, so you still sing now? Here and there. Here and there. I'm a busy girl. Yes, you are. Now, very busy. you enjoy singing? I do. I love it. You do? Every I night. Do All around my house every day. Really? Yes. Can we do a duet one day? Of course. That, listen, <laughs> I'm trying to be like, yeah, no problem, Joe. We're going to Listen, we have to do, and there's a young lady by the name of Sydney Lala. I don't know if you know, she, she, she was the one that actually did the intro at Chop Sell Strut. Oh, is she? Yeah, so she's she's a young, young. She's uh nine years old, and um, but but she plays the 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 she she plays the uh, she plays the ukulele, so I don't know. We might have to get with her. Yeah. And do like a duet trio. With, with her. Yeah. Get the trio, not the duet. <laughs> <laughs> so that's awesome. So listen, I love singing too. Me too. I do. I do. <laughs> I, I I sing all the time in church. Um. I sing in the car, I sing home. Oh, the car. Did you? That's the best. Really? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Listen, did you know that, that I started the national anthem um, singing it live at the sporting events in my high school? Did you really? I did. That's I awesome. Did. I always wanted to sing that somewhere. Really? Yes. But I never got the chance to. Oh, so I may have to get so, so, Maybe so, we could figure something out. Yeah. <laughs> can, can you do like a bar of it? Like, like oh, see, can you do that? No? <laughs> she laughed. Oh, I'm, I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. I'm trying to get it like this dude. Oh, say, can you see? But that's... Okay. All right. So maybe by the end of the show, we got about 20 minutes left. All right, on the show. So maybe by the end of the show, I'll get her to uh, give us at least, oh, say, oh, say, can you see? Maybe. Okay. Maybe. Or they so, could just wait for the duet. <laughs> well, listen, we can do a duet now if you want. <laughs> So, so we're all pausing, right? No, your your TV screen is still real. But listen, this show I'm I'm, I'm so amazed because what I love about you, Leah, is is your confidence and your ability to just jump and your ability to just leap into it, and and that is amazing. And that's what our young people need today is is again not to allow fear and not to allow doubt or uncertainty. Nervous to to be nervous is fine. Yes. But 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 fear is what holds us back. Once you get past the first step, like I said, even yes. with singing, like I was so nervous while she was sitting there, I felt like there's no way I'm about to sing. Right, right, right. And then right, right. with modeling, you're backstage, your nerves are going crazy. Right. But as soon as you get past the first step, you're fine. Wow, wow. I gotta ask you now, when you're going down that runway, are you looking at something? Are you thinking about something? Or or like what's your focus? I don't know. It's kinda different every time. It depends. It depends on the song. That's, that's, really? yeah. Isn't oh, that wow. weird? It's the song. I would be like trying to find that mark so, so I don't go past it. Oh, I'm or, like or, looking or, down or sometimes. And I'm trying to, I'm like peeking <laughs> right. out, trying to see where it is. Right, right. Like, uh, like am I in the right spot? Yeah. <laughs> but I'm telling you, but once you hit it, it's amazing. It's it is. Phenomenal. I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of you. And I'm trying to remember what the first time that we met. Do you, do you remember? Because I was trying to think of what, what show or where it was. Where we met first. Your mom might remember. I'm not sure. I don't know. But um, I don't remember. Why don't we remember? When was know. this? It might have been Shop Sell Strut. It might maybe, have been. Maybe. The first one? Oh, you know what? Maybe it was SM Global in New York. Maybe. I'm not sure. But somehow we we, we got connected. Yeah. But I'm telling you right now, there there is so much in store for your life. So, Thank listen. You. I can see... The headline of the magazine right now, Dr. Aaliyah. <laughs> Dr. Aaliyah. Fashion model of the year. I mean, that, like, doesn't that sound great? It does. That, that sounds amazing. 
Two and one. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Listen, it's going to happen, y'all. Dr. Aaliyah is going to be like the, 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 the face of the year. I don't know. Vogue, um, whatever you are doing, or Elite, or whoever. I'm telling you right now, we, we're going to make it happen. I hope so. Make, no, 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 no. We're working for it. I am. No, I, am. I, I am. I am. Yes, I am. Listen, we're going to, listen, I, I told you right now, our, our Dreamers Club is real. We we had it for two years. Again, shout out to my cousin Noel and, and Akina. We would take young people, teenagers, talk about life issues, right? And just feed them. Just just go out, have a meal, and talk about and, and set goals. So so what is your next goal? Do you have a next goal, whether it's in modeling or whether it's in lacrosse or whether it's in singing or whether <laughs> it's in whatever? So any, any next goals in terms of schooling? Yeah, I'd say schools? my – main goal right now what I'm working towards right now is probably colleges because okay. next year is my junior year and that's what colleges yes, look at yes. it's going to be stressful but yes. got to work hard yes you do now do you have some colleges in mind that you would like to go to I do I've always said I wanted to go to Villanova but oh. I've been looking more into it and okay. John Hopkins really yes go but, ahead Aaliyah I don't know that's a rough school to get into but I love that it's a dream <laughs> no but listen listen what I love about you is is not that you can't get a good education in a different area, a different yes. school. But what I love is about your mindset is 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 here. Yes. So when 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 I tell people that I'm going to be a billionaire, the reason why I do that when I go do workshops is because I need them to, to know that my mind is is at the highest level. You believe you could do it? Yes. Yes. Why not? Why can't I have a billion dollars? I'm exactly. sorry. Have a, I'm sorry. Be a billionaire, not have a billion dollars. <laughs> be a, so it might be thirty billion. If someone could do it. You can. Twenty billion. Right. If Oprah and different and Bill Gates and, yes. and Warren Buffett, you know what I'm saying? I do. So so <laughs> so. And what I love about it is I love what you're saying is because your your vision is very high. It is. I love that. Yes. And then think about. It, I'm like, wait, I'm still 15. <laughs> yes, you're 15. Listen, I'm telling you, I, I feel like I'm talking to somebody that's 20, 21, <laughs> 22, but you're 15. I am. And I'm telling you, there there is no limit to your destiny. None. I'm telling you right here live on Hamilton Radio. We, we're going to come back here. I'm going to have the magazine. We're going to hold your degree up. My face. With her face on it. <laughs> be like, this is Dr. Aaliyah, uh, the top model of the year. America's next top model. I'm telling you. Not even America. The world's top model. One day. Yes. One day. <laughs> One day. One day. I love it. See, don't ever put... Uh, um, don't don't ever put a top onto whatever it is that you're trying to do. Seal the jar. Don't, don't do it. Don't, don't <laughs> do it. And don't allow anyone else to do it. Because that's because, a big thing. That's yes, a big thing. Yes, because how many people? And again, whether it's 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 family or friends or teachers or schools or people on the job, so many people, you know, allow other people to hold them back. They do. That's a big part because. Being in high school, there's so, everybody judges you. Everybody has something to say. When right. I post the picture from modeling, everybody's like, who does she think she is? Mm. I don't care. How do you overcome – how, how do you deal with that? Just, just don't, don't, don't care? Don't care. Wow. I just have my small group of friends. Yes. That's all I need. And, and, and you know what? The, 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 the sad part of that is even those who comment, they don't have any limits either. Exactly. But what happens is because they can't see that far – they don't want you to see that far. That's why you can't let anybody affect it. If you want to do right. something, just do it. Absolutely. Don't let anybody else affect you. Absolutely. Now I gotta ask you. Now this is a serious question. Have you have you ever ever been been bullied? A lot. A lot. A lot really? in intermediate school. Not so much high school because I learned to my couple of friends. That's right. all right, I right, talk right, to. Right. I'm very quiet in class. I just have my two to three friends that I talk mm -hmm. to. And how did you deal? Like how how did you overcome that? Or how did you deal with that? Well, in the beginning, I was like, well, why me? Like, what did I do? Because right, right, I, don't, right. I don't talk to many people. Like, I'm, that's not true. I talk to a lot of people. That's, that, that was the problem. I'm very yes. outgoing. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm friends with everybody. And I realized that you can't be friends with everybody. Because right. everybody always has something to say, whether it's mean, nice. Right. Yeah. So, I don't know. That's just, you just got to overcome it. Well, you got to. I love it. You got to know yourself. Don't let them tell you who you are. Give me two fives on that one. Know yourself. Don't don't allow anyone to distract you. And and what what's amazing is that not every person knows how to overcome those those words. Yes. Because they hurt for you know they hurt for words. Oh yes, you know? trust me. Yeah. When I was in intermediate school, I was like, what? Like what? What? 
How could you say that to somebody? Right, 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 right. Um, right. When I look back on it, it was whatever. I am where I am now. Right, right. And and you are in an amazing place. I am. You are I'm right happy. here on Hamilton Radio with Troy Alexander. <laughs> listen, y'all, I'm telling you right now, if you want to call in, and listen, I, I'm going to give Aaliyah just a quick uh, uh, break for a moment. But listen, y'all, there is so much that is upcoming. Not only am I getting ready to do a uh, shoot another eighth grade prom tomorrow night, we're going to be in Jersey Shore, uh, Jersey Shore Fashion Week on Wednesday, or Jersey Shore Fashion Show on Wednesday night. Uh, I'm trying to get the town that's in. That's in like, like Belmar. 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 In Belmar. So we'll be there in Belmar. Um, I think it starts at 6 p.m. Uh, so we're getting ready to shoot that. And then I have a, a women's conference that we're sponsoring to, again, uplift and build up on Saturday at 10 o'clock in uh, Metuchen, New Jersey. Then I got a graduation event. Saturday afternoon, and got one also on Sunday. So it's a busy week. Busy, busy, for busy, me. man. But but I love staying busy. Do you love staying busy? I do. You I do. love it. Sometimes I'm home. I'll have maybe the day off of work, or right, I won't right. do anything that day. I'm like, what do I do with myself? <laughs> this never happens. What do I do? <laughs> well, now she's gonna call me like, I'm ready for a photo shoot, Troy. I'm ready right now. <laughs> <laughs> so so, but I love the power of staying busy. Yes. Because because you you can drown out a lot of negativity. A lot of things. That's why I love it. Yeah, I do too. That's why I went. I do the radio show. We got another radio show on Thursday. Oh, I got a second radio show. I do. It's it's an hour of faith. So it's just a, a build up. You know, it's a faith show. So again, for those who believe, but that's every third Thursday of the month. So that's every. That's awesome. Right here on Hamilton Radio. Yes, I love it. So I'm I'm st I stay busy because it, it keeps me. People ask me, Troy, do you ever get sad, or, or down or out? Very rarely. Really? I mean, very, like very rarely. Like very, I'm like, um, I have What's too that much. Mean? <laughs> I, I, I have so much to look forward to. That's everybody does, but yes. people focus on the wrong things. Sometimes. They do. They do. Because I could say I have so much to look forward to. I'm only 15. I have so much ahead of me. Right. But sometimes I focus on the wrong things. Everyone does. We all do. Yes. We all do. It's like, uh, well, listen, it's not about age. It's not about your experience. It's not about what you know, what you don't know. I told Aaliyah, listen, before this show, I never had a show before. Like 54 shows ago, I didn't have a show before. Never did this. Did, didn't go to school for this. Oh. But, I'm, but, but now I have my own show. Because you knew you could do it. Girl, come on, Aaliyah, listen. <laughs> I, listen, I'm going to have her by my side. Right? Gonna be going, <laughs> Dr. Aaliyah, and listen, you might encourage me to go get my doctorate. You know, <laughs> listen, listen, I'm, I'm grateful to have the two masters and, and the bachelors, but, yeah, you might be able to... You, Dr. Alexander, Dr. Leah. Side by side. There you go. We'll open up a practice. I'm just saying, listen, television show. Listen, we're going to be the next uh, 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 <laughs> Dr. Dr. Phil. Show. Yeah, yeah, Dr. Phil. I love it. I love it. So listen, you never know. No limit, whatever it is. Listen, I, I see on Facebook people graduating at age 80. Yeah. Graduating at age 70. Good for them. 90. Good for them. Never give up on your dreams. Never. So what, what would you say to the young person there, Leah, that... That, that just doesn't quite yet believe that their dreams can't come true. What would you say to encourage them? I was there one place too. Like, there's a lot of things that I believe I can't do. Everybody does. But like I said before, you just have to do it. Once you get past the stage of thinking and believing you can't do something, you realize you can once you do it. Absolutely. Because you can do anything. Absolutely. Listen, I, I had, well, first of all, let me applaud this amazing <laughs> young lady because that's, that's awesome and amazing. Um, I had a young man. And I don't know what it is, but it seems like when you get connected with people yes. who, who are, like, excited and have the ability to kind of do this, like, okay, let's do it, right? So, listen, never in my wildest dream that I ever imagined that I would actually do a bungee jump. <laughs> never, ever. <laughs> now, listen, this was my younger days, right? So, uh, but then we had this man, and we went on this trip, and, we, and like, this church trip. And, and this man was like, oh, I can't do it. I was like, all right, all right, you know. All so right. He was encouraging me, and. So, yes, I did a bungee jump. I, I went all the way up to the top, and I'll tell you, I did was nervous. Flips. Oh, ha, ha, now, have you ever done that before? I have. You I have. love it, yes. You love it? Yes. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I not surprised that you did a bungee jump? So, I did the bungee jump last time ever, uh, but then um, there was a park called Action Park. There was a water park. I, yes, you, I heard of that. You heard of it? I have. So back in the day, Action Park, so they had this bunny jump, but then they had these cliffs. So, so like if you were not on the islands. You could jump off, right? You could jump off the cliff into this water. Now, mind you, the water was like dark. So, so it wasn't like a pool <laughs> water. It wasn't like blue. I could look at the bottom. No, no, no. So this guy did it again. I was like, okay. So I did it again. 
And, and I'm telling you, I was praying all the way to the rocks. I mean, you had to swim over to the. So I was like, don't, don't, don't let no sharks be in the water. Mm. Don't let no but, jellyfish. Jellyfish. But of course, he wouldn't have that. But, <laughs> but, but it's the power of influence. It is. And 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 what we're all, what what Aaliyah and I are saying to you now is, make sure that you connect yourself to somebody that's positive, to somebody that's going in the direction that you're going it, higher, because again, the power of influence. Like, like that gentleman influenced me to do those things. There are people that can influence you to do negative things. There people is. that can influence you to do positive things. You need so to be involved with the right people. Yes. My dad always says, if you want to do something, do it. You yes. could do anything you put your mind to, absolutely anything. You just have to work for it. It's true. It's true. Whatever you want to do. Now, let me just say this. There, there are two things that I would love to be able to do in life that I haven't done yet that that I'm, I'm trying to work out time because I'm so busy. But I would love to either play the guitar or the piano. I play the piano. You do play? I do. You do play? I do. Really? <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. So I'll teach you. Really? Are you serious? <laughs> of course. Really? Listen, y'all, you heard it right here. Oh, that, she's going to teach me how to play the piano. Listen, I said to Liam, honestly, and, and again, I'm not like overcom like I love singing. Me too. But I, I truly feel that, that, that like, I know um, how blessed I am to be able to sing in, in church a lot and so forth. But I just said, if I could, because it, it, it's about that sound. And so I just know that when my brother-in-law hits those keys now, and, and it's, it's something. So I said, if I could learn how to play myself, the guitar, oh, I would be, like, in a heavenly place. Yes, I agree. I wish I was better at the piano. I'm not the greatest player. I but. would sing everywhere, Leah. Me too. Like, like, I would have to depend on other people, you know, coming. But I would just play. I would go to, to youth centers. I would go to senior centers. I would go to – I would just play. Just play. Oh, man. So you are going to teach me? Of course. <laughs> okay, just got to let me know how much you, you charge. So – but no, Nothing. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Listen, everybody, listen. This is Hamilton Radio Inspiration with Troy Alexander. We're here every Monday night. Uh, listen, I told you about the Dreamers Club that's upcoming. I got to tell you, listen, go on my Facebook page, Troy Alexander. You see my face and our profile picture there. We started a Dreamers Supporting Dreamers directory, launched this morning. So if you have a business, if you have a, a talent, a skill set that you want to advertise, email me, DM me, direct message me, or email me at called to inspire at AOL.com. I want to help to promote. We want to help to support each other. No cost. No cause. I just take the time to type it up. <laughs> and so, listen, we're going to put it out there every week. Because you know what, Leah? So many times I've heard people, like, like I hear people have so many talents. They can bake this or they sell this or sell that or T-shirts or whatever. And I'm like, they don't get the support that I think they should get. When you, you know? see somebody else do something, I feel like you're like, oh, my God. Like, that person could do that. But once you do it yourself, you think lower of it. You think more highly of something when you see somebody else doing because right. you don't realize that you could do that. Yes, you could do anything. And so I want to promote people. I want to promote you and everybody else doing whatever it is that they want to do. That they are. Listen, I, I'm going to create this dreamer. It, it's a dreamer community of dreamers. It's perfect. I, I, I'm, I'm going to have like an academy of dreamers. That's what we need. Yes, a school of dreamers. Like Together. X <laughs> like, like, like the X, <laughs> the X, now, are you into that all? Like the X-Men? No? No. Okay. okay. Well, they have this school for the, I'm not sure what you call them, the, the people, I'll call it a certain name. Okay. Well, anyway, sure. I know somebody <laughs> knows what they're called. Um, I can't think of the name of what the people, but it's the, it's the people that have the special powers. Okay. Okay. So, so she's like, okay. So, yeah. So, <laughs> I think Alyssa is, is out of, <laughs> I think Alyssa is out of, thank you. I think she's out of the country now. She's out so, oh, no, oh she's in. DR. Is she? She's out there helping some families. Yes. Good for her. Yeah, she's doing amazing things. I saw, I, saw, I saw her post. But a shout out to your mom. Your mom, Dana, is amazing. She is. She's a great woman. She is, is an amazing <laughs> woman. And, you know, where would we be without, you know, those who have helped us? You need I, support. You do. You do. I wouldn't be where I am if I didn't have the support of others. And that's why I try to give back so much. Listen, you have done community service. Um, so much, and and what was amazing about your bio, is that is that it's an elective in your school. Yes, we actually have. It's wow. called team. Okay. So we'll travel to 
the elementary schools, intermediate schools, and they have like their fifth day carnival, for example, and we'll help and we'll chaperone, basically. And then there's a lot of other events. There's top soccer, where all the special needs kids will come in and we'll play soccer with them for That's like an amazing. hour or two. I love it. I love it. And it's fun. It's an actual class. Yes. Listen, y'all. Listen, we didn't have a community service class in my, in my day. We had uh, um, what's it called? Home ec. Like we learn how to cook. There's so many things now. So wow. I mean, but thank goodness I I took a typing class. Oh my goodness. Are you you gonna type? Her? Oh, finger by finger. Really? Yes. <laughs> now I can type. Now I I'm amazed that I can type like well. Yeah. But that was the one class that I was so glad that I took, and um, so I. I I have to ask you, looking back now, what what do you want people to know about you? Like like when what when, when when they leave you or they get to meet you, um, and they think back, wow, that that Aaliyah, what what do you want them to take from you? What do you want to demonstrate unto them? Hmm. That's a good question. There's a lot of things that like I myself want to show to people my age, being that I am so young. Because a lot of people, like, I'll talk to my friends and be like, yeah, but we're still young. We're still young. I'm like, mm. exactly. We're still young. Let's start now while yes, we're young. absolutely. And me as a person, people people get images of people, mm. wrong images. Right, right. I'm a very down-to-earth person. A lot mm -hmm. of people don't know that. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, okay. Now, down-to-earth meaning, like, you're just very simple? Or yeah, very... I'm just a simple person. Okay. People think I'm very, like, like, there's a lot to me, but there's not. Well, Not at all. <laughs> well, there's a lot that you're doing and what you're going to be doing. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, awesome. I mean, awesome. maybe why they think that, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm busy. You are busy. You yeah. are busy. Well, listen, we got about five minutes left on the show. Is there anything else you want to share with us, share with the world in terms of, again, I, I'm just so proud of you. Thank I you. want you to know that. I, I, I've said it to you off camera. I'll say it to you on camera. I'm, I'm so fine. proud of you. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm proud of who you are. Not not what you do, but just who you are. And there is so much in store for your life. Thank you. I see it. I Me see too. It. <laughs> I see it. I see it. I'm so proud of you. Is there anything else you want to share? Any social media sites? I don't know if you want people to follow you or not. If not, Aaliyah it. Fischer <laughs> on everything. <laughs> on everything. I love it. I love it. Listen, y'all. We are here every Monday night, 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock, Hamilton Radio. If we can just share one thing to inspire you, to uplift you, to encourage you, to let you know you can do this, I still have dreams. I still have dreams, Aaliyah. Even, and I even, still have dreams. Yes, yes. <laughs> so no matter what age, no matter what experience, and I've been through a lot of things in school and life, and, I, and they didn't feel good at the moment. But I can look back now and appreciate because it taught me a lot. It's getting past the first step. Yes. I love that. <laughs> T-shirt, right? <laughs> getting past the first step. Because once you get past that first step, I remember the first time that I sang my first solo publicly. Oh, me too. Is that the class you told me about? about with yes. The, okay. I remember. I was a nervous wreck. And what grade were you in? I was young, maybe second or third. Oh, wow. Yes, yeah, so I was That's really amazing. young. I was really young. Well, I was in seventh grade, so I was a whole lot later <laughs> on. But yeah, I was in seventh grade, and I remember that first public solo. I was I, I How was could nervous. you forget? <laughs> I was nervous. I was nervous. But you know what? I say every week, everybody starts somewhere. And then once it's over... You want to do it again? Yes. That's like when lacrosse. I'm standing there at my stick. I'm like, oh, my God, he's going to blow the whistle. He's going to blow the whistle. And then once he's the, the five minutes left in the game, I'm like, I wish I had another one after this. There you go. <laughs> um, so so I, I am so, I again, I'm so honored that you're with us tonight. Me too. Thank you for honored sharing your here. journey. Thank you. It's, it's, it's been amazing. Thank you. And I'm so proud of you. And we're getting ready to do some great things. We're getting ready to do another shoot. We are. A lot of shoots. A lot. A lot more in the future. Yes, a lot more. <laughs> because again, I, 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 I love being connected to people who are inspiring, who are amazing, and it seems like when you get into those moments, you, you, you go into another person, like, like, like you change it to something. See, I see, I, see, I can see, see, you see. So, so, so you know that when you talk about something and you get so excited about it, because because we're talking about like different ideas and concepts. Yes. And it's like I want like, let's do it. 
Just got to do it. Just got to do it. So listen, y'all, we got about two minutes left on the show. Thank you so much. We're excited about what is to come. Listen, um, as I mentioned before, follow us. Our website is called to inspire.org. Follow us there. We have an amazing uh, conference on this Saturday at 10 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. at the Second Baptist Church in Matutin, New Jersey. And listen, um, we are doing things that I never even thought about before. But, but I, I said, you know what? Why not? Why not take that leap of faith? Why not believe that something greater can take place? Whoever thought that, and, and, and let me say this, I've written three books, right? So the first book actually came from an accident. I, I, I was in a car accident at home, and it was that moment of, of that time being at home that, that, that birthed the first book. So every experience, whatever it is, don't, don't, don't like, oh, whatever you're dealing with, just know something greater is coming out of that. So listen, y'all, we're getting ready to close for tonight. I got about a minute left, so thank you so much for your continued support tonight. Thank you to Aaliyah Fischera. Thank you for having me. Yes, being on our show, so we're making <laughs> Listen, get to know her, connect with her. We're so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. And listen, next Monday night, another phenomenal show. Every Monday night, we're here. Continue to follow us. Again, Instagram, at Pick by Design. Our website, picturesbydesign.smugmug.com. Thank you so much. I'll see you next Monday. Dream, take that step and walk with purpose into your destiny. Have a good night.